good health for people with intellectual or well, any any type of disability is really important because we die at a higher rate before we're meant to, so it's 26 years. We die 26 years younger than what we're meant to. It makes me sad that um, in the world we have today with all the advances of technology and um, all, everything we can do in society that we're still lacking the um, skills and the things to deal with people with disabilities. It's like treat like I'm not that bright, not that brainy. They don't understand. They don't listen. They don't. They they don't talk to you. They talk to your um, advocate. They're in a rush. They talk in a language we don't understand, and they don't have time to explain everything to us. It's all about supporting people with intellectual disabilities while they're in the hospital to make it easier, to make it a happy experience, not a terrifying experience that you don't ever want to go back. Instead of getting humiliated, it would be a lot easier, I think, just to do easy read. Must read clear, clear to read. One half space, the bold would be more bigger. They can just read it, the picture on the side, so they know what it means. I think the hospital system should have um, staff specifically trained for people with disabilities, leaflets, pamphlets, and people just to guide you through the system. A better service. A better service for, for, uh, for people with intellectual disability and an uh, accessible service for other disabilities and their support as well. These people are still people and they need just a little bit more patience. We have we have needs like everybody else.